Welcome back to the next episode here, which is uh, the King of Smut 95, playing Langrisa. And today we're doing level 3. Now, this is an important level because, uh, you know, when we first started playing this game, we were, you know, having different interpretations of the game. And, uh, right away, I'm going to tell you in this cut, opening cut to pay attention to this picture right here. Alright, I'm going to make reference to it as well. And uh, also, take reference to this picture over here, which is uh, more pictures of the uh, uh, so called uh, barbarians that are going to be attacking the world here. I'll make references to this uh, later as well, called this exhibit number two. And, um, you yeah, know, so this little cutscene here is basically showing us that the barbarians are getting ready to attack the town, uh, which the, there are uh, troops and uh, Mina's forces are. Okay? Okay, so to set up the units here, um, I'm going to basically uh, uh, stock up a Maiden with the Archers because they've got slightly better attacks, right? They may as well because uh, he's going to be doing a good bit of uh, killing, so make sure he's got a good uh, that there. Now, Walkov, although I don't want him to use Soldier, he doesn't want to you know, kill too much, but because of what it is uh, that he has to do in the first turn, he needs to reach um, certain hexes on the uh, board to make sure that he gets full coverage. So I'm going to switch him up to horses um, just because I need the range. Um, and um, you'll see why uh, he has to you know, get out quickly and then basically be able to do it even though know, horses are more stronger and probably will do more damage. But um, I need that uh, in this particular level, so I'll put him the horses here. Getting on this level because it's a surprise attack from the barbarians. Um, you don't get to pick where you need to go. You basically, uh, you set the buildings and uh, when they arrive. So, let's see what we can do. Strategy in this particular level is going to be another one of these um, escort levels uh, that you want to do. Um, the idea, of course, is that, you know, uh, because the forces have been complex in time, so you have to try to get these girls who are all running to one of these church building here. And then we should, of course, get to it. So, what I'm going to do with Balkan is I'm going to try to span up uh, a wall, a bridge, so that we can get the girls here and try to drag the crew right here to basically get past these um, guys right here uh, to the right. So, I'm just going to basically take these horses and we can get the horses that they can get this far. And uh, because they can get in the range, um, I can basically use my zone of control to keep these um, barbarians uh, out of the way. Okay, so basically, I'm going to put a, a line of my horses here and basically use this to make a safe path to the here to get past me and uh, then, of course, past uh, those uh, uh, barbarians. Now, uh, later at the bottom here, uh, obviously can't do it because he's still stuck inside the building. He's not going to be stuck inside the building. Um, but I will keep him, uh, get him to the left side of the screen as soon as possible because uh, enemy reinforcements will be appearing uh, at the gates um, towards the left. So I'll make sure later is ready to uh, um, attack those guys as soon as uh, they arrive. Okay, so the other unit that uh, you have in this one, you all said Thorn also already on the ground, uh, and then you the uh, enemy forces coming from the right and from the bottom. Of course, Hawking is sitting inside the, uh, the front uh, of the barracks already, and he won't be able to reach in contact for a while. But that's okay, uh, Thorn should be able to move alone for a while here. I need some more to come with the hand that can be close to my path to the road block here and the road block to do that and the road block will get by without taking damage Again, you know, you really can't do much about that either. Your forces are too far away then to have any effect. Now, they you see can hear the girls right by Balkan are going to try to run 
just like that bulk off. So the idea is you want to try to build a passageway so the ghost can fly. Again, the ghost here by thorn, you can't do it with bugs. So hopefully that will let them try to get past it. So best as you can, hopefully take one more damage while doing something. Uh, again, Hawking is trying to get out of the barrack here, so it will take a while for him to do something. So, uh, at the beginning of the episode, I mentioned that this is probably one of the key um, episode, uh, levels that the Languisa, and one of the reasons why they call it the key is because I think this is one of the ones that really changed our perception of uh, what Languisa was. And it isn't so much that you know, you know, I thought the game was different or I played it very differently. It's just, um, you know, a combination of events sort of happened. I'm going to try to start from the beginning and then sort of, you know, build the picture for you and, and basically um, you know show you how I arrived at sort of my interpretation of this okay so um, basically as you know uh, on the previous episode I uh, told you that I uh, you know, used to run a Japanese animation store and it was called Animation Eye and um, you know one of the nice things it was is that you know, not only did it have lots of anime and that kind of stuff but it also made it available um, like a a uh, number of consoles were available that uh, customers could come in and they just sit in and they just play video games, you know, in like, uh, you know, the course of the afternoon, you know, in from maybe after work or after school uh, or after college or whatever. And they come in, there's a whole bunch of video game consoles available uh, across many different platforms, you know, all available for them to basically you know, play whatever their favorite games are, and especially since all these games aren't available. Uh, you know, they'll be allowed to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna okay, go back to the action room. So as you see, uh, this I'm going to now continue to basically uh, build a pathway so that these girls can make it past the uh, ball club and pass and these uh, guys uh, to make it safely to the uh, church room. Uh, Part of the reason why I need to watch this video is you can see some on the right here. Some of the guys have actually made it past it, but that's okay. Again, uh, one of the more strong ones that we can quickly take over to them here and uh, you know, continue building my path and, and make a wall. Now, the path has got to be at least one hex wide so that, uh, that the girls can you know, slip by me. Okay. So, basically, I want to continue it. Widen the path over it, which is going to mean that there are two that could go um, to manage this. And I'll just move these guys over and we'll walk over to make sure that uh, he stays in his uh, uh, you know, uh, area of influence here. And then basically, uh, you know, fish the, the, the grid by cutting these guys off. Okay. And uh, at the same time, the air has to uh, um, you know, proceed over towards the uh, reinforcement points on the left. And uh, that means you can get to uh, this part of the left too. Okay, so uh, going back to the story here. Um, so, yeah, so uh, on a typical day at the average line, you know, uh, I do basically uh, Japanese animation video guys, all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, the, the customers would be playing games and that kind of stuff. But once in a while, you know, you get some you know, strange sort of uh, you know, weird outburst or some sort of weird, uh, you know, uh, uh, reenactments maybe as it were, or a re uh, uh, interpretation of some, uh, you know, events that happen in the game or something that's not too uncommon. But, uh, you know, so in, in one of these sort of you know, things that sort of occurred, um, the playing piece of, uh, on the video game consoles and playing it, and then we sort of, you know, was watching the uh, uh, video sequence, uh, you know, and make reference to that exhibit number one, exhibit number two that uh, was uh, marked uh, and uh, remember from the beginning of this video. Um, you know, someone made a comment that, you know, okay, so these uh, barbarians are getting ready to attack the uh, village and they chase after the little girls. Then he sort of think, well, Hey, wait a minute, you know, he didn't notice something. You know, other than the leader, you know, the guy who went all the bird, all that kind of stuff, 
um, the rest of these barbarians, uh, they're not wearing any pants or any clothes for that matter. And it's like, and, and they're wearing, you know, the, the masks, right? You know, remember, like, you know, this is even before the, the era of uh, 2 Chan and 4 Chan. And so, you know, the whole mask thing I mean, kind of comes through. But, um, so here you are, you're thinking, okay, so, you know, what, pray tell, would you know, a, a whole band of like you know barbarians, you know, you know, you know basically wearing nothing but a mask and, and like no pants, and no clothes, you know, what pray tell could they possibly want to go into a village full of you know, uh, you know, clerics and girls and that kind of stuff? What could they possibly want to do? With them? And then we sort of thought about that for a while, going, yeah, I mean that's uh, you know, not very many good things could happen in this sort of situation. So we started start thinking, you know, what, you know, you know, it's not to make an excuse for the game, but I mean, you know, it's sort of obvious what the story's going to go on. But you know, but possibly there might be some other motive. Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. That is good. That is good. Why? Well, thank you. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, and uh, judging by your comics and uh, the movies, there's a lot of other things that you uh, want to do with women too, right? Um, so, let's uh, see what uh, the other Conan has to uh, like the thing on this topic. So you're there in front of all these people, yeah. you're saying you're all descended from Vikings yeah. who are... I said I, I forgave them for all the raping and pillaging, but... <laughs> How'd that go over? It was good. They, they, I mean, they admitted that the pillaging was secondary to the raping. That's what they... <laughs> That's what they came over for. They got the raping hats on, you know. That's the, that Wait, is, the thing with the horns you're calling that? that you'd, if, if a Viking's getting off a boat and he's running towards you, there's only one thing on his mind if he's wearing that hat. Okay. He's... So, uh, what you're saying is uh, that you've got a bunch of guys uh, running towards you with uh, no pants on and uh, wearing these masks, uh, then, yeah, I think that these uh, girls are in trouble. So, now, that totally shifts the entire you know, thought process and the entire concept of this particular game. I'm not sure the actual strategy and the actual playing of the game uh, still remains the same. But now the scenario and the thought process and the interpretation of a lot of the dialogue and kind of the sudden changes. Uh, somewhat uh, in a comical way, I guess, in some ways, but you know, not making a light of it. But, you know, again, because uh, you know, we are the language that this particular game is Japanese, you know, um, you know, we had to basically, you know, interpolate and basically, you know, kind of, uh, determine what the actual, uh, you know, the law of dialogue is, and all of a sudden, you know, now this is slowly a different point of view, a different sort of thought process, uh, you know, went into this. And again, you know, it's just some observation that sort of, you know, just went and, and took off in one direction. So then all of a sudden, you know, now we, you know, kind of start to put the pieces together and going, oh, wait a minute. This is the character designer for this thing, Satoshi Uchihara. And of course, at this particular time, you know, we've already penned him, you know, the, the nickname the Breast Man. And that's because of all the artwork we've done. That's what the anime at this time, the OED for Plastic Little. And again, if you know what that is, you can Google that. Uh, and my note, uh, my advice is for don't do that uh, while you're at work, alright? No, no, see, proud. So, um, anyway, so yeah, so we started to piece it together going, oh, okay, now there's a, you know, there's a secret motive going on here, and uh, the thing that I've done there, this, this is uh, you know, being you know, touted as a you know, SRPG, a you know, strategy role playing game there, but uh, and also now we know what the strategy is, and hidden content that's in the game, you know, and, of course, you know, now we start thinking, well, well, what else did they put into this game that we don't know about? And uh, now, this is what really starts making the difference. Now, we're starting to put the pieces together. We're starting to know why, as I said, in terms of anime and uh, otaku circles and that kind of stuff, why the PC Engine version and the, you know, the game console itself, the PC Engine, is the favorite amongst uh, anime fans. Okay, because you know, Nintendo this time is too, um, you know, too protective of their titles like uh, Mario and things like that, and, and they want to make sure that they're, you know, they're, they're like 
in Disney, uh, Disneyfication, if you will, of uh, like things like uh, you know, like, you know, cartoons and anime and that kind of stuff. So, you know, if you want to compare that, that tension to that, you know, that's very, very true. So, you know, they would never have this kind of content of you know, the idea in there. And of course, in the Sega Genesis, you know, very similar to like that. And of course, yeah, they're starting to get kind of you know, trying to get, you know, break into the market for that with you know, you know, Mortal Kombat and whatnot. But, okay. But they couldn't do it. So, you know, the one system that kind of flew underneath the radar was the PC Engine. And that allowed you to do this kind of stuff. So, what does this mean? Well, other things that they've done in this game. What else is there? Well, okay, I can't show it on this level because, you know, Cutscenes and that kind of stuff aren't in this level, or the you know, concepts uh, aren't in these levels yet. So, you have to hit the uh, like and you have to hit subscribe. And you'll see me point out more of these things that shows up in this particular game. Plus, that special thing at the very end there, I've got to show you at the very end. Um, you want to catch that. So, again, you know, keep in touch and uh, watch those episodes when they come up, right? Okay, so I'll put the uh, jump back into the game here and uh, uh, let's try the update here. So basically, uh, uh, me and I have got uh, some of the girls getting into the uh, uh, church here, and then uh, as you see, that ball cock is now with this wall of horses, which is now allowed the uh, girls to you know, pass by him. And they got one extra path to get past him, and uh, basically, that wall now forms a barrier between the barriers and the girls. So those, uh, Rapists can the uh, girls, okay? So now uh, they're safe from him, and then uh, basically he's going over here and basically holding his own. And uh, basically, uh, in a little bit of time, uh, he should be able to knock it through the girls past him. And uh, Hawk, you know, Hawk should be able to make it through the um, Then basically give him a bit of hand there, okay? Um, you know, for the most part, he's done what he needs to do, and uh, he's pretty much free to. Uh, Hold this uh, line there uh, because it goes along sort of path. And sh they should be able to maybe they'll turn to be okay. So the uh, kind of concept is that now you know you don't want to spend too much time, but I mean, there's a hockey is going to be on the lane, and then they go to you know, I'll back them up and basically keep those guys occupied while they take care of the guys on the um, left hand side of the screen. Uh, so, what, all, uh, you know, so what you've done here. Okay. Uh, Layden has basically again formed a wall on the left flank. Okay. Now you've lots enough room, at least eight, you know, at least eight to six axes um, here on the left side, so that as soon as the reinforcements show up, they will populate this entire entrance here, and then basically with that, you know, then you can then engage them and stop them from basically uh, attacking. Church world and build or anything like that. So you don't want to basically kind of you know, go past the road guys and they'll just stop by you. you know, make sure that you uh, keep that kind of stuff safe. Now, you want to do that. Now, the ball caught here has just built efficiently all the girls through, which is like the female girl does the you know, you know. What you want to do is you want to move all cars to the left as well as start collapsing um, the horse wall that you built here. Over um, you know, to basically, you know, allow you to keep within um, command range as well as, you know, as, as the girls retreat past you. You want to get the uh, you know, uh, fixed up, okay? You do want to keep that, that span because you also have these girls coming in from the, the, the bottom of the screen, right? So they're still, you know, running across. So you want to basically keep your span bridge uh, open just long enough until they get back and then you collapse the bridge. After they you know, make it inside, then walk up and then serve as guardian for the front door and the back door of this church. If you want to go get into the church and you know, use horses to block up the entrance and the exit on the other side to make sure the girls stay inside there, okay? Anyway, so uh, Hawking's now got all those horses out. He'll start moving over to help uh, uh, fill in there. And here you go, the reinforcement phase of one of these. Uh, um, bad guys, rapists, as you will. So, um, guys with the masks and no pants, you know, okay. So, um, now they, you know, should be no problem for, uh, you know, um, 
leave them to take care of, so I need to just uh, quickly dispatch them and then we can move over to the right and help those other guys out to uh, help fish off those guys. Okay. So uh, basically, I'll go back to you know, the, uh, uh, the the strange day at the uh, enemy store. So um, you know, of course, there's the whole entire concept of now these uh, you know bunch of uh, weirdos with no pants on uh, uh, going into the village. And, no, it's really okay, you know, we're still, you know, kind of, you know, playing and dancing around this, this, this concept that they're doing with the Vikings and the, you know, going in here and, uh, you know, really raping the villaging, but they're going, no, 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 they're, they're actually, you know, going in as, as uh, ambassadors, or, uh, you know, maybe they're just, uh, you know, they're going to go in there to, to socialize, uh, you know, maybe they're going to uh, introduce themselves, you know, yeah, I don't think so. But then, you know, I think a uh, whole sort of, you know, series of you know, wacky jokes and, uh, you know, uh, one liners and sort of show up. But, you know, I don't know, imagine that, you know, the, uh, you know, one of the barbarians with uh, no pants uh, standing on the side of the building, you know, and one of the clear girls walk by and goes, you know, you know, like, uh, hey, baby. Yeah, yeah, going my way, I, yeah, I have a friend I want to introduce to you, uh, his name is Peter, yeah, right, okay, and you know, other strange jokes like that, you know, like, um, yeah. and sort of like that, uh, another one sort of normal, like that, you know, so, is that a bulge in your pants, or uh, are you excited to see me, and it's like, oh wait a minute, he's not wearing pants, ha 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 ha, so yeah, yeah it's a series of, uh, you know, Oh, you know, Peter, Jonathan, Richard, and all these other, uh, you know, uh, jokes sort of, you know, come to them. And game somewhat clear that, yeah, this, that sort of situation probably isn't going to be what, what's actually happening. And you can go probably back to the, uh, you know, to the Vikings and the everybody being intelligent, okay? So, uh, you know, that sort of didn't improve the moral or the concept of the of but, you know, it does somewhat shift what possibly and some of rational thinking uh, would happen in future lives. So, again, um, I won't tell you what those until we get to them because, you know, obviously it'll um, make more sense uh, in context, okay? So, I'll, I'll go over those uh, when we get to them and we can kind of, you know, agree or disagree. So, again, you know, um, Feel free to write in the comments what you think, and obviously I'm sure there'll be lots of you know, feedback saying that, oh, you should have thought of the game that way or whatever, but I mean, you know, that, you know we, we sort of thought, you know, the, or the process is, well, what else could it be, you know, sort of thing, right? You know, if you were, okay, you think, you know, each of these units have, like, a leader, there's six units in each one, there's ten guys on each one, that will give you, you know, six units. Okay, so what we've done here is uh, quickly break back the game. All kings, magic, and blah blah blah. The twins went to do a level change. Uh, they only have three level changes in this thing, so I'm going to make him a board because the eventual um, path I'm going to put him is to magic back and again. And magic knight, um, you, know, you have the most flexibility with. Uh, uh, magic and that stuff, which will be helpful in the later levels, because you know, basically, you know, it's, it, it, it's basically a big huge work here. I'm just doing magic spells which have area effects and uh, you know, affecting whole units, and I think that's probably more useful when you get to that part of the game. Um, if you have magic using those rather than um, you know, raw strength dice. Okay, so I'm um, going to start the in this case. Um, so you know, all the Backup guys, so um, that includes, um, you know, Hawking, uh, Thorn, and, you know, Vineyard, uh, and all those nothing from the whole world. Um, so that, uh, 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 series or that path towards, uh, you know, well, we get only three levels, uh, uh, for those guys, there's, uh, the main characters are going to have four, so later on, in the later part of the stage, the yeah, main character will have to grab most of the experience, but especially Jessica and me. Okay, so 
out and we'll back off with the strategy again and we'll back on the discussion about it. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you think you have maybe you know, a possible suggestion or a possible good scenario, you know, well, you can go down and throw that into the comments and, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll go to that here and then. Probably sure you sure probably went over that time, but you know, what, what the heck, you know. Write your comment down below. And again, if you, you know, don't share this, uh, you know, but you really thought that you think I'm getting anything that do, you write that down in the comments. And then, uh, you know, uh, as I put more episodes, uh, who knows, uh, I mean, your, your opinion or your, your, your mind, your, your train of thoughts, you always say, may be altered in a slight way. So uh, again, uh, feel free to write some comments down there, and that's great. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna get you, uh, you know, work on the phone, it's just, uh, you know, showing you how to call you next day. Now, no, 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 let's see if you know, as, uh, you know, well, my brain is going to destroy a lot of people think, well, you know, you just came up with the idea because all your know, not like, guys you know, are in the anime store. But no, that's not really true. I mean, in the early days of the uh, end of, uh, uh, the anime kind of store, and like, we have, you know, a mixed clientele. And, of course, you know, you know, yeah, for one sort of, you know, that the, you know, gets the institution on the anime knows that there is, you know, that sort of, you know, anti sort of, you know, calm that the, that anime has, and it always had that sort of, uh, you know, in the early days of anime, uh, you know, a lot of people had that, you know, astigmatism that, you know, if it's anime, it has to be anti, you know, I mean, that's, that's, that sort of, you know, there's almost like it was, it was an equal sign, right? you know, you talk about anime, must be talking about anti. And, um, you know, it took with anime a very, very long time to kind of shape that sort of, um, you know, taste or flavor, if you will, you know, that, that, that connotation, um, you know, it became more of an understanding that, that you know, anime is, you know, just, just big, large genre, okay? And, uh, it, it has a lot of different facets to it, you know, the subcategory, you know, fantasy, uh, science fiction, you know, love stories, or sports stories. I mean, it, it's this whole uh, field, okay? And, um, you know, to, you know, to kind of lump everything to, okay, all anime is hentai, love, 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 It's just, you know, part of the reason why I'm not in anime is just because it's so different than, you know, what, what the, the cartoons that we got here in North America. Like, I mean, you know, I'm pretty much just like everyone else who grew up here in North America. You know, I mean, you know, I'd wake up really early on Saturday mornings and I'd watch my, you know, uh, you know uh, my uh, Spider Man is an amazing friend. I'd be watching, you know, Tarzan, the Ranger, uh, the Black Star, uh, Thunder the Barbarian, you know, um, all those, uh, you know, Justice League. You know, all these, all these episodes uh, I, I watch. I mean, sure, I mean, I, I would also watch any of the sci-fi shows, and I got into, I uh, uh, really like that, you know, Lost Ark, uh, uh, Jason Starkman, Space Academy, you know, all those things, uh, you know, I also enjoy it too, so, you know, so I, I, I grew up with, you know, with that sort of interest, uh, you know, that sort of background. Um, and then, as I said, when I you know, came down to Vancouver and uh, started getting into uh, Japanese animation, but you know, the first thing that really, really caught my attention was the fact that it actually had different stories, right? You know, not unlike, say, something like the, you know, the AT or a G.I. Joe, it uh, never seemed like anyone actually died in the shows, right? So, you know, uh, you know one of the first shows like Mega Zone 23 or Macross, you know, you know there, there was lots of scenes where people were getting killed. So, you know, I, I felt that there was a sort of, you know, realism something that was sort of missing. Again, you know, it's not like it's, you know, th th those are hentais or anything. I mean, sure, they had a, you know, a scene or something in there, and, you know, and again, maybe that was that, you know, connotation that, that uh, oh my god, you know, there's a, you know, there's a, you know, a, a, a greater than PG-13 kind of scene in that, the like, Little Mind 3 or, or Macross, and you're like, oh my god, there's only, immediately you flag the entire movie as being hentai. Well, no, it's, it's not like that, it's just, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, it sure took quite a few years before, um, you know, anime 
as the gunner to, to, to shake that. You know, probably started getting um, uh, anime on, on TV. I, mean, I remember back in the, uh, the start of, uh, you know, uh, when we did add something like that, we always, you know, we always wondered and we always wished, well, hey, you know, you know, wouldn't it be really cool if we could turn on the TV and uh, instead of watching Saturday morning cartoons, you could actually watch like Japanese animation. It would be really great if we could see, you know, turn on our TV and like we see Gundam or we see Dragon Ball or something like that, right? Just turn on TV and, and, and you get that. And then basically through the, uh, you know, the 2000s, that's what we had. You could turn on the TV, you know, Cartoon Network and all of their stuff. You, know, you turn it on, you get Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, you get, you get uh, Gundam, you get Sailor Moon, you get Inuyasha, you get all this great anime on TV. And, you know, our, our dream sort of came true. Uh, sort of at that time, you know, the, the anime became sort of a, a legitimate genre. You know, people, you know, we understand the respect that, yeah, okay, anime, maybe not just all about hentai, I'm not sure. You know, there's always you know, people out there that will say, oh, well, you know, uh, anime's all for like weirdos, or you know, you're like, uh, you know, like Trekkies, or like uh, Star Wars nerds, or whatever, you know, um, you know, those kind of guys, right? But um, no, I mean, it is, a, it is a particular type of medium, just like science fiction, and that stuff. maybe not as well known as, you know, the superhero genre or the sci-fi genre or the, you know, the uh, medieval, you know, the, you know, type of, of genre, but I mean, yeah, it is one of those uh, subsect of, of entertainment which now has gained some no right. Of course, no, it's not, and it's, uh, you know, so I say, you know, has made sales. Uh, numbers as you know, you know with some of the more popular movies and that's more fun in that and it's some sort of pocket penetration and uh, you know, and many people has I know has recognized it as a uh, legitimate genre. Okay. And so it's it we when it became that way, it has uh, shaken some of the, that bad vibe of you know so that that impression uh, but again it never disappeared. It's still there. Uh, they still release titles there. You know, uh, you know, they still make sales and that stuff there. And the artists are there. The doji cheese and that stuff all still there. They never really went away. Um, but they, you know, people have sort of you know, changed their view. They they understand that there is that part to it. Now again, I'm not saying that like you said would design the anti game or. You know, they would be planned it to be you know, something different than you know, a standard you know, RPG game. And, uh, you know, maybe your interpretations are a little you know, strange or whatever. That's, that's great. It's just, you know, you know, basically an opening that you know, will do that, that, you know, that other stuff or other you know, interpretations or you know, kind of logic may come to you know, pass on that. To, you know, that might change your impression. Uh, probably use it. So, you know, um, this isn't the only level. So, again, um, I'll call for more of them as I continue with this uh, walk through here. Okay. Okay, so back to the game here. We've got uh, all the girls inside the uh, church here. We've got Bob Hall, uh, basically, one of the positions to. So you seal off the door back door there so they keep them safe. Uh, Layden is now caught up with the hawking here, so we're just going to polish off these last couple of guys right here. And then we have the uh, fishing boots. You do it all here. Um, you know, we're going to do this Again, it uh, you know, doesn't really matter if hawking gets a lot of these screens. Once they're late, it's going to be a screen. Hawking will have his uh, chance to get something well. Take a moment, probably not too bad, but we can get much more screen than the PC and the other person as well. Um, Layden, of course, you know, you know, he's going to be one of the primary uh, attackers and that kind of stuff, leaders in the next couple of months anyway, so he'll have this chance to gain experience points as well. Um, so, you know, you can get, you know, you can use the spread the experience points of the motion. Now, the only little bizarre thing is that this church is really filled up. The girls got so, uh, 
AI to do it stupid. And what they'll do is they'll, they'll reposition the um, particular uh, in a really strange formation. It's so much so that sometimes the uh, formation uh, puts the growth outside the actual uh, church. So uh, for that reason, the ball cock has to actually put some uh, forces on the outside here at the top here just to make sure that. Uh, Uh, not that it really matters in the sense there's no more reinforcement, no more other stuff that the uh, all the people are in the uh, bottom corner here. It's just going to take care of the last uh, two guys here. Um, just make a note that uh, the leader, i.e., uh, the last um, boss of the one here, the, the guy with the red mask, they won't take care of the last. Okay? Uh, but other than that, yeah. The, and the uh, hawk uh, uh, take your time and uh, you know, take care of these guys that are here that I'm going to back up a little bit here so that the hawk uh, can get a few more kills as I said, uh, you know, try to distribute the experience points in the Okay, so uh, I'm going to take the moment to basically uh, tell you that uh, I do have a separate uh, YouTube uh, channel called the uh, History of Fan Anime and I don't, you know, just think I'm going to blow up my channel I go over the uh, various different parts of uh, the uh, history of how we got Japanese animation here into North America. And, uh, you know, I do a lot of uh, various different uh, topics and that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, the ones that are uh, specifically for this particular episode is I do do an unboxing of the uh, Line Grease, so 1, 2, and 3 soundtrack, which might be of interest to, uh, for those uh, people who you know, like uh, you know, the music for Line Grease here. Uh, you might want to check that out. Uh, I also do many topics about how uh, you know the influences of different things that have been boost, uh, how anime got here, for example. Okay, and that's the uh, one on the stump to finish up here, so I'll just go over, uh, you know, the odd uh, question and answer. I had a question uh, that's asked me, you know, what's your favorite anime? You know, a uh, broad general question. Um, you know, one of the first anime that I was exposed to that I really, really interested in was uh, Orange Road. So that's one of the, uh, one of the first times that uh, when we started up object animation, uh, we went in and basically advanced up that entire series. So that was uh, a really big population for me. Um, another really good big series that I really liked was uh, Double Zeta Gundam. Now, it took me a long time to uh, you know, get uh, that one translated into the uh, that was subtitled because the fact that um, you know, uh, of the main no, two sort of translators, three translators I had, um, uh, you know, Double Data Gundam wasn't interesting to them. They just didn't like that particular type of Gundam or whatever. So that, you know, it took me a while to, you know, get to basically uh, you know, find Alter and Double Data Gundam and translate and get to. Uh, some different type of tra you know, some different translations from like uh, like Chinese VCDs in, uh, in some cases. I had to go to those to um, to get some of the translations. Uh, so basically, yeah, that was another favorite series of mine. And uh, you know, there's some probably some other ones that I really liked and, and enjoyed uh, doing. Um, that uh, you know, that, uh, you know, because we did over like a thousand episodes. No, the the image was quite large. But again, I'll include it in my channel and uh, I'll go over some of the stories and some of the things like that. So, yeah, that would still be thinking about that. And uh, we'll be able to see more. Okay, so that, uh, here we're going to tell you that last boss. And I'll be able to tell you that last And I will tell you all uh, level 3. So, I hope um, you know, this is uh, kind of a learning experience for you. Learn a little bit more about anime. Learn to think a little bit different about language. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode. And I'll uh, hopefully I'll show you some more stuff that may be a little different. Until next time, see you again.